here we are displaying the lessons for the currently selected module. Uh, we'd like to do, do the same thing that we did here for the modules. We'd like to do it for the lessons as well, right? As we, as we interact with the lessons, right? We'd like to be able to keep track and encode in the URL the state of the application of what is highlighted, you know, what is currently my interaction with the user interface. Uh, so let's go back to the lessons here, right? And and when we render the tabs, uh, I'm going to render them as a list here, as a, a list group, and then each line item, I'll render it as a list group item. All right there, it is, uh, and and then each lesson over here, we can we we can uh, render them as hyperlinks. So that, so that they become you know, clickable. And what we'd like to be able to do, I mean, right now it's, it's not linking to anything, so it goes back to the root. Uh, instead, we would like to you know, rebuild this URL and append here maybe the ID of the lesson so that we can use that right, to drive the, the rest of the UI based on the state. Okay, so, so the URL is going to look something like that. And it'll look something like that, right? Without the HTTP local host, it'll have the star slash course viewer. This will be the course ID, the course ID, modules, and then this will be the modules ID, right? Followed by a lessons, and then the current lesson that I'm iterating over, right? Which is lesson dot underscore ID, okay? Now the problem here is that we don't have the course ID, right? We never parsed it. Oh, it's, it's just ID, not underscore ID. So that's going to complain, saying that that um, if I hover over this, we'll see that that if I, at the bottom, I don't know if you could see in the course viewer, we don't have a a, a course ID, so it's blank. All right, so we can parse this as well uh, from the component, just like we parsed the module ID from the URL. We can declare here a course ID as initially blank, right? And we can we can parse it out from the URL. So this is a course ID from the parameters and copy it into my local state variable. So that now, if I render and I hover over it, you'll notice that indeed it's not working. What? Wait a minute. There it is. If you I don't know if you can see at the bottom down here. Right, it, you can show that it's a course viewer, the ID of the course, modules, the the ID of the module, and then lesson. So if I click on it, uh, it it fails because it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have the um, uh, it, there's nothing mapped to that URL. There's nothing mapped to it, right? So we need to create a router, right, to to, to determine what do we, where do we want to go if it has that um, I think this is underscore not. Let's see, test. Yeah, see, it puts the ID there. Very good. All right, so let's let's uh, let's create a router, right? So that you know that determines where do we want to go, right? If we have that URL, okay. So let's do that next. <clears throat> 